Hi, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today is the finale of Skylab. Uh, sad thing is, most of you, except for one person, is not going to be able to play this. The reason why MGC 2020 was canceled, so this will not be there, and it's going to go straight to the customer next week. Um, sorry guys, you can't really see and um, play it. I really wanted everybody to check it out, see what my machine um, refurbishes are all about. But um, as you've been following the video, um, I did a little different things on this video. I didn't do it full blown everything you know on video because a lot of stuff's been gone over before. I did little key different things on this machine. Um, my next um, series after the the fireball, um, the fireball is going to be a totally in-depth video, so you want to watch that one because that I haven't not seen any of them on YouTube yet, so that's going to be exclusive to me. Then my next one is going to be the Grand Prix. That one's going to be full in-depth because that machine is just so damn complicated. I just want to go through everything and let everybody see um, what that machine's about. Anyways, Skylab. Um, these are blinker LEDs right here. There's a slow blinker here and here. Otherwise, these are all regular bulbs. There's one LED right here. It's, um, I think it's a warm white. I can't remember. Just because the glass is all goofed up here. This is regular bulb and a regular bulb. And it, one has a blue cover over it and one's got a red cover over it. Customer didn't want the back glass touched. Loved the uh, old nostalgic look to it you know where it's faded a little bit and paints flaking off which is you know totally understandable the machine is, is in great condition it's not perfect it's not a restored machine it's refurbished so if i did restore this this glass would be garbage on it it would have to have perfect glass but it is what it is this is history it's staying as history anyways let's go over it everything has been fully reworked on this play field. Uh, let's get this down a little bit so you can see better. I did put an LED here, here, and here. The only reason why is because this area of the play field is really dark with no lights on. I always put LEDs in my pop bumpers because they get hot, they cook the pop bumpers, they destroy the pop bumpers, and they sometimes burn a little spot on a cap. So I do not ever use them. Um, I use all 47s on a play field. Sometimes I'll put a, a 44 in the game over, but I like the way it's lit right there. It's, it's subtle and it's good looking. So all the under play field lights are also um, 47s. Every play field light you see is all 47s except for here, 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 and here. Um, let's pop the hood and look inside. Let's get that ball out of the way. Let it roll forward. I will get my camera off the mount. All right. If you've seen all the pictures of Skylab, you would have seen that this thing was really dirty. Score mortar has been all done. I did a video on that one too. Um, all relays went through. Just did a video on the Gottlieb Chime Box mod, which is really cool. You want to check that out? You might want to try it. I have not seen it anywhere else yet, so I don't know if I'm the first. I don't imagine I'm the first. I imagine other people have tried it, but I haven't seen a video on it. Everything's gone through. The stepper's been all redone. Flippers were rebuilt when I got them, but I corrected the rebuild on them. They were all sloppy and um, the way they moved, they were all loose and stuff. I put the washers back in them that are supposed to be in there. I readjusted the EOS switches so they're correct. Um, I got rid of the speaker wire that was on them. I did not like that. Um, like I said, this has all been gone through. Um, no coin mech on there, but it is able to have a new coin mech and work again. I have my reversible um, 
mod, you can just cut these wires to um, turn off the free play. I like doing that instead of bending switches and stuff. This is all still fully functional. It still works perfect. So all you gotta do is cut these two wires and get a coin back, and this will be back to coin play. Everything through here has been completely gone through. I had to get one um, different um, coil stop because it was broken half. You might have seen that in another video. These steppers have been all completely gone through. All these Jones plugs have been gone through. Um, those reels have been fully rebuilt. I did a new test on how I do the score reels. If you've seen those score reels before, they were yucky, dirty, nasty. Um, let's go over the play field. Uh, let's see if I can do this with one hand easy. Play field. What do I can say? It's got history to it. That's as good as it's going to get. I did do some little touch-ups here and there on the black around the circles just to make them nice. So, as you see, we're going to get this prop back up and we are going to play a game. Alright, we got the lights off. You cannot see me. Um, and we're going to do the last final gameplay on it. I chose to do it this way instead of two different cameras this time because um, there's really not a lot going up here. You just got your, your square reels and stuff. Um, but, and there's not a whole bunch of weird different stuff that's going on here. So um, I figured one camera would be perfect for it. And plus it's, it, I think it's lit up just perfectly, you know, for one camera. Normally I would like to have another camera doing a score and then one on the play field, but for this game, I think it's going to work. Um, when you get this looping special here with the Skylab, when you get all the balls around to one side, you get a free ball, and it will change to score a thousand points. Um, Space Lab, when I first um, rebuilt the mechanism, um, and I got it back working again, I noticed it was moving up two letters at a time and I was like totally freaked out you know what did I do wrong you know when I rebuilt it but I know I didn't do anything wrong because there was nothing to do wrong on a stepper but I thought maybe there was a relay that I had adjusted wrong or whatever so I pulled out the instruction um, manual for it and that's how it's supposed to work now this machine when I got it it moved up one letter at a time which I liked and I thought was awesome because it made it harder to spell out Space Lab. So I liked how it did one light at a time. Now it does two lights at a time, which makes it too easy to get Space Lab. And there's no way to adjust that. So, and also when that mechanism, that stepper was dirty, this machine would shank violently when it would count down, and I enjoyed that too. Now since that step is completely degreased of all the gunk and sticky stuff and new coil sleeves in it, it just operates so smoothly, and when it counts down, it's like, where'd that machine gunning go? I, I love that, where it shakes real hard like that. I love that. Um, also, you're going to notice how sensitive them pop bumpers are. I mean, that ball just flies all over the hell up there. Um, I got them adjusted right on the edge of machine gunning constantly. Um, I, I love, that's how I love my pop bumpers like that sort of are super super sensitive so you you almost sneeze and they go off um the change buttons will change the lights here and up here for the advance because whenever you roll over it when it's lit it will advance one light up if you spell it space lab and drain it on one of these sides you'll get the space lab special as long as that light is lit up on each side, you will get that um, special, which is a free ball. Um, what else? Uh, I think that's about it. You don't get, um, I don't think it gives out extra balls at a, any high score. I don't think I have that set. I didn't look to see if that was set. Um, I just 
been having fun playing this thing. But just so you know, I've been playing this game for a whole week, just straight. I probably dumped 50 games on this thing, just testing it. But when I do test my games, I test them with no chimes because it's just so annoying for my family. So I always unplug the chime box. This didn't have a chime box on because I just rebuilt it earlier today. So this game is fully finished now. Um, I'll still play it for, I got it for another week before the customer picks it up. And I will still play it and I'm going to unplug the chime box. But um, just so I can see if any bugs pop up because sometimes they do. Because you know when you're, you're tweaking all the switches sometimes one will decide to tweak another way. Which that one did. So that was the last bug I found. Um, so that's why I, whenever I finish a game, I like to keep it at one, one or two weeks. One just so I can play it because I like playing pinball. But anyways, um, let's fire her up and um, dry her out. It's going to be loud. There's no glass on the machine and there's no back box because when I originally took the head off, I had to pull to... to um, all the stuff through it and I knew I was going to pull out the um, relay board so I pushed everything down in the machine and then when I put the head back on that's when I pull out the relay board so now the cord, the power cord hangs out through the head so you cannot put the back cover on and the glass is not on because then you get the glare from there so I want no glare but yeah it's going to be noisy <laughs> Hear them Gottlieb chimes on a Williams box. shake when it would count down. Now it just goes so smooth.
I got a free ball if it was on that side. Now we're at the double bonus round. All the bonuses are going to be out double now, so I'll be over 100,000 easy. And you'll get 100,000 light that lights up right up to the right of the astronaut's head. For something. I don't know what I got it set at. I'll have to look. It's set at something to get a free ball. I think I'm when at Space Lab. I don't know. I'll have to look at it and see. But anyways, that's it. That's the Sky Lab. We get 132,870 points. Maybe I had got the match when it um drained. Ah. I bet you I had gotten a match when it drained. That's it. It drained, I got the match, and I got the free ball. Bada bing. That's it. Anyways, I hope you like it. It's a cool game. I am going to miss it. This is a fun game. Man. I fell in love when I first got it. And then I swore I wasn't going to get rid of it. And then I got, I think I got the Grand Prix. I can't remember. I can't remember. But anyways, um, yeah, I had to get rid of my swinger too. I just, I want to keep the games I love the most where I just want to keep playing them over and over again. And um, I need to change the layout of my um, game room. So that changes the kind of almost how many I can have at one time. And um, this is a fun game, but I found somebody that has history with this game, so... They're going to love it a lot more than me, so that's all right with me. If somebody is going to love it more than me, I want them to have it because I want them to play the hell out of it. So anyways, um, yeah, in our description below, there's um, a Teespring store if you want yourself a cool Mark's Basement Arcade shirt. There's also a link to um, uh, Amazon. If you click that and search and buy stuff through that link, I will get a small cha-ching from you. Um, it doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't increase your price. It doesn't decrease your price. It just, it's just at advertising for Amazon. So they're like, hey, here's a little kickback. Um, I think that's about it. Um, all that little kickback goes for all the stuff I buy. I bought everything I bought to make these videos for you guys. is all out of my pocket. Um, I bought two... Um, $500 cameras, um, two tripods, I bought a microphone that I use on occasion, um, I just bought that buffer to polish all the stuff, um, all my supplies, but I can't really say that because my supplies I use to work on here. I don't don't need the cameras, but I, I like the fact that I'm helping people fix their machines. So you had a little kickback you guys give me, you know, maybe it's a dollar or, you know, 35 cents. But, you know, that eventually will add up and it will buy a battery. Because as you know, I have battery problems. I did get some new ones, but these batteries just go through real quick. But anyways, um, it's my problem, it's not yours. Um, yep, so, yeah, that will just help fund the videos and we can do more things. I really want to get like a nice GoPro camera and mount it like in the head or inside the machine so you can see everything go crazy as I'm playing a game. I like to do that too, but I'm not buying a GoPro camera right now. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Skylab video. Um, the new owner is going to love this game. I loved putting it back together. 
I'm not going to love giving it to them because, like I said, once I get done with these games, there's something that sticks with me on these games and I fall in love with them all over again. So, as you can see, this thing plays really quick and I'm just rambling on. So, um, anyways, later.